Alrighty, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Moon, and as well uh, rising weekly general tarot reading February 17th to February 23rd, uh, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out uh, the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. So with no further ado here, uh, let's move directly into the Capricorn weekly reading. So the first one here that we do have, it is a, a person and that is to be, that is your situation. Okay. And topic, which is the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which represents the uh, energies that are feeding up the topic itself. That will be the Moon card. Afterwards, what we do have, it is uh, the uh, challenges that you need to overcome here. That is to be the devil. Uh, the fourth card, it is the gifts and the blessings that uh, you can enjoy throughout the week here. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Afterwards, it is what kind of an impression you're going to leave into the people around. Okay, what kind of, um, how, do, how you're going to look like in front of them. That is to be the King of Wands. And the last one uh, here is uh, the guidance that Taro is offering to you. We do have the Page of Pentacles. And oh my, so it's uh, it's all over the place, guys. I will try to keep it as coherent as possible, but it's, it's really all over the place. So once again, the cards here, the first one is to be the uh, Knight of Pentacles, followed by the second, which is the Moon card. Third one is going to be the Devil Fourth card we do have for you is the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which is the King of Wands. And then the last one that we do have, it is the uh, Page of Pentacles. Let me check if I'm recording because I don't want to talk to myself. Okay, so uh, what we do have here, it is a, a person that you will have to deal with with these two cards. All right, someone who uh, looks pretty dedicated and pretty devoted uh, probably to you because it's it's your thing. All right, it is your... Um, it is your topic. The problem here is that you ain't gonna know what what is his deal. What it, what is that person fighting for in general? That is due to the energies of the moon card. Now those energies are gonna make you very uncertain and very insecure. Why things are happening? What is going on around? Toward what end? this person is coming in your life okay and you may know that person as well it's not like that could be a complete stranger okay because uh, the knights of pentacles it could represent jumping into the old branches of love meaning you know and uh, and an ex that you almost forgot about or that you thought that they will never gonna come around they are back and you kind of are very suspicious what is your deal, dude? I mean, I mean, what is it you want? Okay. So, uh, the thing with the moon card, it is that uh, the future is quite unpredictable. That is the card in tarot that says you are not supposed to know your future. Uh, that is for reason being is that we do have a path here that you are supposed to walk on. Where the path leads, ah, it goes beyond the summit. No one can see it. But one is certain that that you are the thing that you are gonna go through throughout this week it is something you are supposed to experience okay something that if you avoid if you try to avoid it and even if you succeed avoiding it throughout this week it will repeat itself moving forward into the future so it's best just you know get done with it you know and just leave it aside and if things works out in between you and that person that's great but if it doesn't well that's even better you know because at least that way you will be able to set yourself uh, uh in closure with uh, that situation and so as we saw here with uh, those cards uh, you are to be very baffled emotionally and feeling very insecure in terms of your uh, in term of your endeavors in regards to that person. Not everywhere, all right. In regards to that person, and uh, how we can c c categorize this one? Well, Knights of Pentacles. They are very mm, how can I say it? Very open people in general because they like the, the, to keep the things 
very very simple and what is gonna baffle you in their behavior it is that they seem very determined when they are approaching you with either their idea explanations of law for example or you know performance propositions etc etc and it will seem that they really mean what they are saying they, they really want what they are doing here Contrary to, for example, what kind of impression you do had with them and that it is exactly what is going to put you in a state of limbo. And so what is the challenge? Uh, we do have the devil card in that uh, position. And uh, pretty much the challenge is to withhold your personal impulse to either jump into their hands or to walk away completely so you got to position yourself rather neutral at that at that particular point and we're going to see why in the next card all right but for now with the devil card you need to know that um making rush uh, uh having a rush decision making in term of either should you make the connection with this person or should you break the connection with this person is going to be most likely the wrong one and uh, uh, don't get me wrong here with the devil card. You can definitely have it the way you want it or the way you think you want it. That is the problem, the way you think you want it. But as we saw with the moon card, you may not know at that point what you want. No disrespect here, but everybody is finding themselves in that position that they don't know what to do. All right. Uh, or they think they know what to do and that does not look like is going to be your case here uh, in that particular week so instead of shoving that person away or instead of jumping into their uh, into their lap like said um, hold down your horses a little bit and just see if they are trustworthy on a first uh, for start that is because we do have the next one and that is the uh, gifts and uh, the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week here capricorn and that is the gift and the blessing of the ten of pentacles so um what do we have with with ten of pentacles in terms of gift and blessing well for start here it's uh, the um how can i say it the lack of binding i don't know how to mention it but let's say that you are uh you are not obliged to do anything that goes uh, that uh, uh, to do anything i don't know how to how to say it guys it is almost like mm, you can do whatever you like all right so you are out of dependency to the situation itself and that is the first thing that you need to become aware of that it is up to you to decide how to proceed forward with this person knights of pentacles if that's your lover or if that's your business partner you need to decide how to proceed with it based on what you find to be a, a good investment because that is the other gift and blessing here with the ten of pentacles that throughout this week whatever investment you do career-wise or relationship wise okay time effort love for example definitely can be a, a lucrative or a, a a productive i would say an investment and with it you can situate yourself in a very comfortable zone so it does depend how um strong emotionally uh, and uh, um, passionately you are and that will determine how how long the time of uh, being uh, insecure is going to be in place if you are very firm emotionally and you are capable to tame your impulses then you are going to be insecure for a couple of uh, for a couple of hours it's just you're going to be most likely stunned seeing that person is approaching you and uh, you know but 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 this initial shock is gonna um uh, kind of like abate very very quickly but if you are very uh touchy if you are very uh not weak but let's say sensitive emotionally and passionately you may not even want to sleep you may not find a piece to sleep you may not want to eat as well and that thing will constantly bug you why 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 this one is around why what what, what does that person want from me okay and they will pretty much like said they're gonna show it it is just it will be hard for you to believe it that it is true it's almost gonna be way too good to be true right but once again 
the unfoldment of the situation is anybody's guess. And for that reason, you don't have to do anything throughout this week in terms of that guy or a girl which appears as the um, Knights of Pentacles, but instead observe and see, are they trustworthy? Because the last blessing and gift that the universe gives you here, Capricorn, throughout this week, it is that anybody who is to betray your trust is going to be highlighted. And anybody who is worthy for your trust is going to be highlighted as well, as well in a different color. And at the end of the day, after the week ends, you will know, is it worth it? Or is it not worth it? But that is a, 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 a bit of a, a long process. This highlights that are to be set upon people. And you need to have the patience and the ability to tame your impulses until these highlights kind of like appear on the horizon and dapples your life with shades. Uh, and uh, the next one here, it is how people are going to look at you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. We do have uh, the king of wands and uh, people are going to see you very, very ambitious in a sense of that. Uh, how can I say it? I, I, someone that if um, the opportunity that it is presented to you cannot be um, executed or proceed with uh, a very decisive actions, say that person comes around, wants to be with you, but if they don't give you the option to be, uh, how can I say it, determined in that, or um, pushing, no, it's, that, that's not the word. Uh, yeah, decisive fact, it's, it's like to allow you to unfold, then uh, it's not something for you as well. And that being said, this person, Knights of Pentacles, seeing you like this, they will try to impress you and to, how can I say it, to prove themselves in front of you. Because this time around, they know that uh, you are up to a challenge, okay? And that you are not going to give yourself to it um, very lightly. But once again, only if you overcome the challenge. Because otherwise, we see the negative side of the King of Wands, which is giving oneself to the pleasures of life completely. What happens next? The King is disconcerned. He just wants to have fun. He just wants to have sex. He just wants to drink, etc., etc. What happens after that? I, he doesn't really care. He's going to think for it when the time comes. So you don't want to be that irresponsible person or rather like a person who lives for the moment. You want to look further than that beyond this. You want to establish a rather secure future for yourself as the energies are making your future insecure. This is what you need to work over, okay? To stabilize those, uns those energies of uncertainty. And the last one here, it is the guidance that Tower is offering to you Capricorns. And uh, we do have uh, the Page of Pentacles. So uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, it all comes to uh, is it worth it or not, right? And how big devotion you can, uh, you can give to this person, you know, how significant and how substantial that person, uh, uh, what, how substantial place that person takes in your life and like I said that is going to happen with time as you start observing uh you know how dedicated you are how how much dedication they do have towards you and how trustworthy how much how much trust you can place into that person and uh ultimately at the end with the page of uh, with the page of pentacles uh, you are going to invest your time, your effort, your love, your uh, your skills and knowledge into the place that it works your investments, because that is the uh, uh, the gifts and the blessings. But that happens uh, once again only if you do have uh, if you do give yourself the time to observe where the wind is blowing from. And uh, so uh, because the only guidance that uh, the Page of Pentacles is telling us, I'm trying to translate it here, but if I have to um, transparently send you the message, the page in this position as a guidance says that you can make investments, make sure that they, that they are worth your while, okay? And that's why you need time to see are they worth in your while or are they not? while is going to be very tempting 
to go extreme in either way. No investments whatsoever or give everything you got into it. In either cases, if you do it prematurely, you're going to lose. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. February 17th to February 23rd, 2020. Uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can uh, check out the description down below and there you're going to find a, a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And uh, I can only hope that we're going to see each other uh, around for the next round of uh, readings. And until then, bye.